Right, hi everyone. So this is just a short video and I'm going to talk through um, the Biomex prefabricated orthotic um, which we do um, and it's part of the Bio Prefab range of, like I said, which there are many others and there's other videos for that. So Biomex comes in a little box like this um, but the main thing to say is that there are um, four different types. So you've got two different densities. You've got low density and that's identified um, by the fact it's purple and you've got high density which is orange and then within those two densities you've got two different arch heights so you've got a low arch um sorry a, yeah low arch and a medium arch okay now the idea of that is you've got different material stiffnesses and different arch heights depending on the sort of correction that you want to give your patient and the sort of conditions that you're seeing so a good example would be if you're seeing an elderly patient um, who's maybe got um, adult acquired flat foot or mid tarsal osteoarthritis or they can't tolerate um, much intervention um, a less stiff material so the low density and the lower arch is going to be really well tolerated if you've got a younger patient um, or someone that you just want a lot more correction with or more biomechanical control then the maximum we can give them um, is the stiffer one which is the high density and the medium arch um, a good way to indicate this um, is using something like the supination resistance test so if they've got a high supination resistance you know you want a stiffer material so you probably want one of the orange ones if you've got a low supination resistance you can probably get away um, with one of the lower density ones so if you want more information on that then do have a look at our training manual if you don't have one and um, give the lbg office a call and we'll send you one out it's got lots of information in um, so there are basic shells, but they do come in a pack with different um, adaptations. So we've got little heel cushions, so that will give more cushioning underneath the heel, which you can add on. Um, you've got 5mm heel lifts in there as well. Um, what you can do with these additions um, is keep hold of ones from previous packs as well, and that allows you to double up and play around a little bit more with it if you want to. And then rear foot posting, normally obviously we use medial wedging, but you could put it on the lateral side if you wanted to. We've, we've got um, two four and six degree there so very simply I'm just going to use a two degree medial rear foot wedge and just pop it on so it sticks on like that quite simply um, and then you just peel back the, um, the adhesive uh, wedging on your cover and just pop it on like that now if you want your device to be three quarter length, um, three quarter length, it's very easy to trim down but the tip with this is using a sharp pair of scissors um, and a long pair um, if you can get hold of some. So if you angle your scissors ever so slightly you create a bevel as you cut um, and also if you can really get your scissors right in there you can normally do it almost in one foul swoop nearly. There we go. So as I've done that, I've created a bevel as I've done it, and that means the patient is less likely to feel the distal edge on there. Now, if I've got issues fitting these in footwear, I can trim around here further to make it even slimmer. You can also trim down um, your wedging and make it into a hemi post as well, and all of that will take away bulk if you need to for, for footwear. Um, now, normally clinicians fit into two categories. There's those that like to fiddle a lot and make something really, really bespoke, and those that are quite happy to use things um, as they are and as they come out of the packet. And really this fits into to both ways of working. So if in clinic you have a heat gun, there's all sorts of things you can do with this. Um, do make sure you um, abide to the safety instructions. If you haven't used a heat gun before, if you look in your training manual and flick to page 21, it gives you full instructions on there and just little tips about how far away to hold your heat gun, tying your hair back, how long to heat it for and all that sort of thing. So, so do have a look in there. So what you can do with the heat gun is you can make your arch even more of an arch on there if you want to, or you can make it less. You can also heat mould um, around the heel cups. If you've got someone with a very wide foot, you can, you can flatten that out and make it fit better. You can also heat mould under the distal edge, and you can put a little teaspoon under there, and you can create your own met dome. Um, but if you want to cut little bits out, like first met cutouts, or maybe if you want to cut out under the second or the the third or the fourth or the fifth if you heat mold that area and then cut it it's very very easy to cut it cuts almost like plasticine so it's a lot easier to work with um, once you've heat molded these so heat gun certainly comes in handy and um, the other thing a lot of you have in clinic is a dremel um, and they grind very well as well so if you want to um, grind out your first met cut out or grind pieces off the side um, then you can do very easily with that as well 
So lots of things you can do with it. Also remember the other things that you have in clinic like semi-compressed felt, um, adhesive back porn and PPT. It's all sorts of four foot adaptations um, that you can put on today. You can put Met Domes on. You can put Morton's Extension Reverse Morton's. As I say, they're as customizable as you want them to be or you can literally use them as soon as, uh, you know, just as they come out the packet. So if you have any queries at all, give us a call. But otherwise, happy prescribing.